folks, it's Emma over at Retro Dodo and today I'm going to show you how to win Mission 8 in Advance Wars Reboot Camp. The key to winning this battle is to use your recon. At the start of Mission 8 you'll have two vehicles to use, though I'm pretty sure by the end of this video I end up with no recon whatsoever, which isn't ideal. But whilst I did have them, the trick is to send them off into the foggy areas, so fog of war, so they can open up your field of vision and hopefully you can see where the enemy units are. It doesn't always work and you might not see um, some enemy units, particularly if they're hiding in forest areas, but either way it will improve the amount of map you can see, so it's worthwhile using that recon again and again before sending any of your other units forward. I believe at the start of this battle you can choose whether you use Max or Andy. I probably would have been better choosing Andy but I went with Max simply because when you get up close and personal with an enemy unit Max does a lot more damage. However, the smarter and more tactical move is probably to use Andy because he can repair en masse all your units, which comes in really handy if you fall into Grit's attack range and he manages to use his snipe attack. There's no basis for you to churn out more ground units, however I would still suggest capturing any neutral cities you find, just to gain a better foothold against Blue Moon. What I would also say as well is don't be afraid to send your infantry across mountainous areas where your tanks can't go, simply because this mission it's all about getting to the enemy HQ rather than trying to take out all the enemy units. Because of Fog of War you're probably not going to find every single enemy unit and if you spend all your time trying to look for them not only are you likely to suffer many losses but you're going to take loads of days to complete this mission which will ruin your ranking. So as you can see as we get towards the end of this video I end up with only one recon left which isn't ideal but I did manage to get it onto the right hand side of the battlefield and down by the HQ which gave me enough opportunity to broaden my field of vision and see exactly where the enemy ground units were. I then made sure to follow the road with my tanks and send them in so they can protect any infantry I send to capture the HQ because that's really important particularly if you're not quite sure where enemy units might still be hiding in the fog of war. What I would say is the biggest risk here is the fact that there are still enemies on this map, I've just not got the right field of vision in certain areas. So if Grit manages to use his snipe attack yet again, it could result in quite heavy damage to your units. However, I was fortunate enough to avoid that and although I didn't get an S ranking, I still got an A ranking, which as far as I'm concerned is perfectly fine with me. So yes, I'm now at the HQ, I just need to finish up capturing it and then this mission will be won. That's really all there is to it, it's not an overly difficult mission per se, I mean it doesn't help um, with Grit's snipe attack and yes, Fog of War is an annoying hindrance. But if you slowly progress across the battlefield and really, really utilise those recons, you'll probably fare even better than I did. But even if you follow this exactly, you're still going to win and you're still going to get a decent ranking. So as far as I'm concerned, that's a win-win. And yeah, that's it for Mission 8 and I will see you in Mission 9.